This story is about a gifted athlete with unrivaled speed and relentless resolve. Every step she takes creates suspense, and every jump she makes defies gravity. There is a name that stands out in the world of track and field, and it's none other than Sydney McLaughlin. How did McLaughlin become so popular? When did she discover her passion for sports? What does she like doing apart from sports? Given that she hails from a family of runners, it is clear how Sydney McLaughlin acquired her ability for running. Willie, her father, qualified for the 1984 U.S. Olympic trials as a 400-meter runner. Mary, her mother, competed in the 400-meter and 800-meter sprints in high school, but she had to stop when she left for college. From an early age, Sydney's parents encouraged her and her three siblings to participate in track and field. Willie told NJ.com, We started them when they were about eight years old. Taylor, who is Sydney's brother, and Sydney continued what Morgan, who is Sydney's sister, had started. All of them had skill, which was immediately apparent. Sydney and Taylor both established themselves as outstanding athletes at a young age. In the future, Taylor ran for the University of Michigan. It appears that the McLaughlin family is genetically predisposed to excel in track and field. Sydney McLaughlin, at 16 years old, gained notoriety in 2016 for becoming the team's youngest track and field athlete in nearly 40 years. When McLaughlin initially joined Team USA, it seemed unreal, as she admitted to The Guardian. She remembered thinking, this is not real life. In Rio, McLaughlin acquired the moniker Sid the Kid quite fast. McLaughlin established herself as a rising track star even though she didn't go to the 400-meter hurdles final. It's a win there for Mohammed in second place in eight is Spencer. What a week she's had. And the youngster, Sydney McLaughlin, nails her card for Rio. Athletics enthusiasts knew that they spotted a star in the making even though they didn't anticipate her to win a medal at such a young age. Later, the teenage American earned silver in the 400-meter hurdles at the 2019 World Championships in Doha. Sydney McLaughlin appears to be a natural at clearing obstacles in her path, so anyone who has watched her race around the track is unlikely to be able to picture her doing anything else. However, there was a time in McLaughlin's life when she pondered permanently leaving the track. For McLaughlin, returning from Rio without a medal was difficult. She experienced an adrenaline fall that has been nicknamed post-Olympic depression, while battling bullies in high school who both harassed her online and in person. According to her statement to La Ficielle, there was jealousy from other girls because of the experience I had, and it became a lot to the point where it made me not want to run track anymore. Apart from all this, it's not particularly difficult for Olympic competitors to land a few commercial partnerships. While it's possible to accuse some athletes of selling out, Sydney McLaughlin is careful to only work with companies she genuinely likes and supports. McLaughlin teamed up with luxury watchmaker Tag Heuer for the 2020 Olympics. Our shared passion for high performance, mental toughness, and the don't crack under pressure spirit made this a natural and authentic match, she said in a statement about the collaboration. Additionally, McLaughlin has partnered with the athletic gear company New Balance. She told people that she had loved the company since she was in high school, so she didn't have to give becoming a brand ambassador much thought. Sydney McLaughlin isn't afraid to talk about her Christian beliefs. To quote her from a 2016 interview with a Catholic news agency, Sticking to what I know and believing that everything I've been given comes from God definitely played a big role for me. She continued by saying that she had always believed that God had a plan for her and that this conviction had given her the strength to continue training and competing. I really found stability in, in Christ and in my faith. And Did you know who her role model is? Allison was someone I looked up to while I was growing up and watching track. McLaughlin stated that Felix was her role model in a different interview she gave to the Post game in 2018. 
She also established the juggling club at her high school in New Jersey. Sydney enjoys playing with balls and bowling pins in the air, and she can do it while riding a unicycle. She wants to concentrate on juggling after the Olympics so that her club can perform at the Union Catholic pep rally. Sydney McLaughlin recognizes the importance of personal growth beyond her athletic achievements. She has spoken about the mental and emotional aspects of her sport and the challenges she faces. McLaughlin understands that growth is not only about physical prowess, but also about developing resilience, mental strength, and a positive mindset. She likely engages in activities that promote self-reflection, self-improvement, and personal development. So this was all about the young yet great Sydney McLaughlin. Did you like her story? Do let us know in the comments below.